Rise and shine, my people, rise and shine. It's your boy Rayman here, aka your ray of sunshine, aka Mr. Mufasa in the building, baby. And we out here in San Luis. The island of San Luis, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the oceanic port of West Africa, constitutes a unique landscape. Indeed, this minuscule strip of land today, wedged between two arms of the mouth of the Senegal River, enjoys an exceptional environment a subtle marriage between land and water. Known to the locals as Da, it is the capital of Senegal's San Luis region. It's located in the northwest of Senegal, near the mouth of the Senegal River, and 320 kilometers north of Senegal's capital city, Dakar. San Luis for the past three decades has been synonymous for its famous jazz festival, welcoming a myriad of global stars, festival goers, nationalities, languages and cultures. The San Luis Jazz Festival is the largest in the whole of Africa. So far my experience of San Luis has been um, a pleasant one, a real nice, usually little place, town. You know, it's, you know, for me, what from what I get, it's definitely a place, if you're into like the arts and crafts, if you're an artist, if you're into like movie making, Anything that's creative in the creative fields, you know, um, yeah, painting and dancing, freedom of expression, and this is definitely the town for that. It's like the Shoreditch of Senegal, shall we say. A friend of mine from London has set up a lunch over here with her family. She's in London, her family lives over here. They've invited us for lunch. Welcome to the bars. Mr. and Mrs. Barr moved from France to San Louis, the town in which they both grew up in. It took them two years of hard work, dedication and patience to build this remarkable home for their retirement. This will now be a home for them, their children and grandchildren who currently live in between London, Paris and Senegal. It is a four bedroom, mid terrace, three storey, triple fronted masterpiece with a built in garage. As you come in through the main entrance, you are met with this deceptively large, fully tiled reception area. <laughs> so when we came in, he saw us coming in with the entrance. <laughs> The house is fully equipped with CCTV and a state-of-the-art door entry system which will notify you and allow you to see when visitors arrive. To the left of the house, you have reception room number one, complete with a dining area which makes it a perfect space for hosting and entertaining guests. You have a porcelain tile throughout, giving a gentle and warm feel to the feet and a warm welcoming tone to the eyes. As you can see from the architectural plans, you have one communal bathroom on the ground floor right beside the kitchen, which then leads you on to the patio garden area. As you can see here, we have a very modern styled kitchen with modern appliances. You have floor to ceiling tiles with wooden worktops and all appliances have a stainless steel brushed matte finish. Very modern wooden countertops, American fridge freezer, damn big fridge. High ceilings guys, you got the high ceilings. Spotlights coming down. Again, another space outside for the rainwater to come down and drain off. 
and their stories, and then you've got the another entrance to the patio here, the garden area. Here we have the garden area, a nice little outdoor patio and space for your barbecues and family get-togethers. Wow, so this is the feature wall, it's a stone that's like sort of native here to San Luis. Uh, and then they're going to just put a, a layer of protection on some sort of um, sealant here to seal it up. These are the stones here, these are the stones, as you can see the bags contain the stones. Yeah. Welcome to the master bedroom, which consists of a double bed, fully tiled floor, three windows, and an ensuite. As you can see, the windows overlook all of the garden areas. This is the ma master bedroom, guys. The master bedroom with the ensuite. The best for the best. Hey, the best. <laughs> the best. Wow. Oh, wow. This is amazing. This is beautiful. Those guys, ensuite, huge basin cabinets. Like the guys, they they built this themselves. They built this house themselves, and it took two years to build. This is sliding extending door, sliding door. Yeah, allow extra space and stuff. So you don't have to keep pulling a door back and forth. And they've got the double bed, two windows, and mosquito nets. Super high ceiling, you've got the centerpiece, you've got the cornices, AC in the house. Again, you've got this little veranda patio here. You know, with plants and the sun coming down. Yes, yes. Yes. And you've got storage, washing machine, another one suite. This is a uh, for guests or? Right. Oh wow, it's a big room. This is your bedroom, Mariam. <laughs> home sweet home. <laughs> you got your little ensuite. Hey. High ceilings. Hey, <laughs> Mbah. <laughs> this is a beautiful feature, that, yeah. isn't it? Oh, tell them congratulations on the um, Mais page. Mais leur félicitations pour le dom ou grand frère. Ah, d'accord. Ah, c'est la lounge. Ouais. Here we have a second reception room and dining area on the first floor. The garage. The garage. Uh, auto. <laughs> Guys, we have the Chebu Gen here. We've got the communal pot out here with the family. And we've been invited to lunch. We're just going to eat now. So I'll catch you guys on the other side. This is the communal pot after. <laughs> we, we, we devoured it. We devoured the, the Chebu Gen. <laughs> Guys, we're now on the rooftop now of the, the three-story house. Such a beautiful house. The sun's out. 
the sea is just there. You can see the sea. How high it is, how high up it is. Wow. The sea literally looks like there's some ships ships in the far distance there, you can see. It looks like it's a tsunami, the sea level is so high out there. Wow. We'll definitely raise some concerns about, you know, San Luis in a, you know, in a few decades, but I think they're working on that. They've got a team of Senegalese people out here in Senegal working on, you know, the erosion of the coastlines here. So um, hopefully they can find some innovative ways to counteract that. Guys, come and check out the presents that we bought yesterday here. Beautiful local artwork, Senegalese arts work here. And like I said, in, in San Luis, the place for creators, man. Artists, musicians, you know, people who are yeah, into creativity. Living in the moment, in the here and now. <laughs> Being in the conscious mind, you know, not on autopilot. Yes, I'm glad you like okay. I hope you enjoyed you know, this little tour and now we're going to head back over to Simone tomorrow we're going to go in the seven seater it's going to be a tough journey back to Simone almost five hours but um, I'm looking forward to it <laughs> Peace, boom! They call me Raymond Mufasa You know I come from Mombasa I was raised in the streets I had the hustle just to eat With a model of shopping food on the street Hey, so I knew I would never be weak Hey, hey, so I knew I could never be weak Hey, hey, I knew I could never be weak